You can tell when it's some good curly hair. If you're new here, I am Ash Takeoff, and before we get into this video, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to come take off with me. We're gonna be doing our hair that we're gonna be doing our hair ourselves, we're gonna be chatting it up relatable girl content, all right. But this is about this hair. This video is about this hair. If you are a curly girl lover, if you are a volume girl lover, if you're a natural hair lover, like this is the wig for you. If you don't want to hassle with glue or free spray or even spray or none of that, this is the wig for you. Y'all, why does wig look melted and it ain't melted, it's glueless. If you stay tuned, you'll see why you need a glueless wig too because baby, if you want to use your glue, if you want to use your even spray, you do what you do for you. But do y'all realize that these glueless wigs are coming pre-customized, pre-plucked, pre-bleached, pre-pre-pre? That means less stuff you don't have to do. And you can still melt it if you want to, boo. But anyway, let's get into this video. But now it's time to install it. This will be a detailed but very easy, simple talk through on how to install a glueless wig when it comes ready to wear. Like y'all know, ready to wear sometimes, does it really mean ready to wear? It does, you just be needing to do like one or two minor things to really be ready to go. Y'all know what I mean? So let's just get started. Underneath this, what is this? Like a silk scarf, skip, sip, skip. I do have braids. You do not need braids for this style. You can use a low ponytail, a low bun, two strand twist pinned up, locks pinned up. Whatever you do for you to get your hair flat underneath your installs, you do that. But I am working with some braids. So this is what we're looking like. I did have this for a leave out recently. So that's why it's looking like that. All I did was literally braid them back down to get them out of the way. And then I'm going to go in with this wig cap just to help make sure there's no slippage of my hair. I like to push it back just a little bit. It's another look at it. <laughs> look at those curls. Did y'all just see that? This is how she looks straight out of the packaging. The only thing that I will be doing is adding a little bit of water and a little bit of conditioner. I want this hair to still be full. I don't want to have to wait for it to dry. This hair is pretty. The wig does come pre-cut, pre-customized, pre-everything. So they're right on that aspect it really is ready to wear you also have an adjustable strap that you can take out some people don't like using the adjustable straps i probably will use it so i'm just going to put it back in there and this is where i can adjust it at right here and y'all even looking through this wig look at this lace like that's how you know it's going to lay really seamless that's pretty y'all the length of this lace this is a four by seven, so it's seven across the front and it goes back four. Um, I like it. If you're someone who wants to like fake a frontal or even do like a half or half down with this wig, you can do that just because this lace is so wide. Let's go ahead and get this lace looking like it's melted by adding a lace tint, your foundation shade. This is the step that you would do to help it literally be seamless to your color. Uh oh, now y'all. Okay, I'm going to show y'all what I did. I just wanted to do one side off camera to make sure I did it right. So this is how the hair looks with me adding some eyeshadow. <laughs> because I don't have a dry um, powder foundation. All I have is liquid and I'm trying to do a very easy and convenient method. I have the Morphe palette and all I did was go in with my shade or something that was close to it. And that's what I use y'all. And then on top of that, I went in with a little bit of my lighter body. So let's get this side looking like this side. And I kind of did some hidden misses. Like it's a little brighter right here because I went in with the wrong shade, but I'm going to be using this shade right here. And all I'm going to be doing is patting and y'all can literally see it instantly. That is the beauty of a powder, um, anything to be honest. It doesn't take much. That's really all I need. All I'm doing is patting that in. That's how that looks. I'm taking a little bit of my foam mousse and I'm literally just applying it like this. So that's how that looks. Very pretty. Okay. 
And I noticed that I have a little bit of lace that's sticking up. If I was melting this wig down, that would just naturally lay down with it. But y'all just see how that scissor kind of helped with that. And she's still glueless. Do y'all see that? Okay. I'm pretty impressed. Really impressed, actually. I just plopped up my hot comb. And while it gets ready, I'm just going to go in with this West Kiss hairband. But take this. I'm just going to let that sit there while I get the hot comb ready to be done. 250% density. This is beautiful. Look. Oh my God. Foam mousse is also a good styler. I'm only gonna be adding a little bit to the front part. And you guys will see by the time I finish my hair, it will literally be dry. <laughs> if you don't like this stuff, you can just skip it, but I'm liking the flat look sometimes. I will be going in with some LA Pro Girl Concealer. This is in Warm Honey. And I've learned to just take a flat, like, makeup brush and take some of that instead of going along it because it kind of gets messy. So we did that. It's time to take this lace off. We'll take the lace band off. Look at that lace. Y'all, I didn't have to use no free spray. I didn't have to use no glue. I just achieved this with some mousse and some eyeshadow powder. <laughs> Shout out to you, West Kiss Hair, because I think I can deem this wig ready to wear. I did not have to do anything but add a little bit of a foundation shade, a hot comb at the top, added some mousse. The mousse made it look melted and I'm done in under 10 minutes and ready to go about my day. Like, oh my God, look at how full and pretty this hair is. And look at my hairline. <laughs> look at my pre-plucked hairline. I didn't have to pluck. What? My frontal girlies, this closure wig is giving the frontals a run for their money because you can very much style it and do different things with this hair. Like, what? If you're interested in this hair, all the information will be down below. Shout out to West Kiss Hair. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> you can tell when it's some good curly hair. It's soft, it's not rough. The ends are soft and I just feel like if you're somebody that loves volume, if you're somebody that likes big hair, this density is the way to go. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. That lets me know what you guys are interested in, what you're liking, what type of content you may be wanting to see. And it just gives me feedback that somebody watched my video. <laughs> I actually liked it and found it helpful. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye y'all.